What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy Rio, and I'm back with another banger, man. Look, in today's video, man, I'm finna be giving y'all boys straight game. You feel me? You just gotta listen, you feel me? I'm finna give y'all boys straight game. If you finna move to Atlanta, if you're thinking about moving to Atlanta, I'm finna give you 10 things you should know before moving to Atlanta, man. You feel me? If y'all stay tuned, watch the full video, and listen, I'm gonna give you all the game. You feel me? And if y'all need more games, just comment on the video and I'ma let y'all know. Or y'all can DM me on Instagram at underscore Rio TV. So go follow me. And y'all, man, look, let's get into this video. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, man. Look, let's get right into it. All right, y'all, man. So everything I'm telling y'all is what I learned since I've been here, man. I moved here in 2018. You feel me? But it really 2018 don't count because I was playing football for Georgia State. And I feel like while I was in school, I didn't really experience Atlanta like that. Like, I was just in school, in the dorms, with the football team. And just, like, even the, like, I just was, I just wasn't Atlanta. I was, I was in Atlanta, but I wasn't Atlanta, you feel me? I didn't really participate in, like, the nightclubs and, and like, being around a bunch of Atlanta people, you feel me? So, you feel me? I don't feel like in school it counted. I feel like now, since I'm living in Atlanta outside of school, all this information I'm telling y'all, Tell y'all, boy, it matter. A million dollar worth of game if you're trying to move to Atlanta. But look, the number one thing is everything here is competition. You feel me? Like, I had to learn that because coming from where I come from, we kind of move more off love, you feel me, and like genuine vibes and like loyalty, you feel me? But here, it's just all competition. Like, they competing for the money, they competing for the cars, the women, the image. Like, it be like, a lot of stuff I don't even care about, niggas be competing. Like, like niggas will be competing about who got the most money. I'm just like, bro, if you good, I'm good. It don't matter who got the most. You feel me? If you could take care of yourself and I could take care of myself, it don't matter who got the most. You feel me? We just vibing and having fun and enjoying each other's company. You feel me? Like, But here, it's like they want to be above you so they can feel like you beneath them. So everything is competition with the quality of women you date, the amount of money you got, the type of clothes you wear, like the way your image, like everything is competition in. I really don't like that, so I only compete with me. You feel me? I don't compete with nobody in Atlanta. Like it's really be me versus me because I just can't get it get caught up in all that. You feel me? So I just focus on myself. All right. The second thing is most people here be cap. Like, bro, they be capping like 50 cap, baseball cap soccer cap whatever got a cap man like cap and gown bro they be capping here you know what i'm saying like they'll run game to you like they're a business owner they'll run game to you like they up like way more than what they up and then when you get around them and you hang around them you start seeing the truth you feel me so i'll be like you know a nigga be telling me popping it to me when they first meet me like yeah i got this motion i got that i got this i'm doing that and i'll be like okay cool and then i hang around the dude or the female, whoever it is, and all they movements and actions don't line up to what they say they got going. So I'm like, bro, if you up, why is you acting broke? Why is you asking me for money? You feel me, shorty? If you up, why is you, you know what I'm saying? Why is you asking me for money? Why is you doing certain little things that's like broke? You feel me? Like, if you up. So it's like everything be kept. And I had to learn that because, and I used to get offended by people thinking that I'm Atlanta. You feel me? Like, People be like, I be telling somebody something and they'll think I'm cap. Cause that's what's going on here. You feel me? They'll think I'm cap. But you feel me? I had to learn that that's just Atlanta. Like, don't take offense to people thinking that you cap. It's just they know that Atlanta is cap. So everything is cap until proven not cap. <laughs> you feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? I don't take offense to it no more. I just be like, damn, why you look at me like I'm that type of nigga? I'm from Mobile, Alabama. We don't do that. You feel me? We really get out here and make somebody out of ourselves. You feel me? We really be doing what we do. You feel me? But, yeah, so everything here cap. If you move here from another state and they think you cap, don't take it offensive. Just prove them wrong or just move them around. Because really, a lot of these people ain't even got to prove. You ain't got to prove a point to a lot of these people anyway. So I just say move around. Number three, most of these women are just gold diggers, bro. Like, they just trying to hop on whatever way they see piping, whatever motion they got going. Like, they just gold diggers. But not all of them, though. So we ain't gonna put all women in the cat in the same category, cause I have met genuine females here, and like that came from good backgrounds and just like good people. So, yeah, 
But a lot of them, you got some motion, you got a little shit going on, you feel me? They, they on the way. So you just got to know why they there. You feel me? You can't, you can't be blind to why they there. You feel me? So, and I'm telling you, this everything that I've been learning since I've been here. Like, you got to know if she here for your pay or she here for you. You got to know. It's, you know what I'm saying? You just got to be able to, like, see the see the difference, man. So, I ain't, we ain't going to say all women are gold diggers, but it is a lot of them here. You feel me? So, watch yourself. Number four, if I learned this in Atlanta, people will use you and misuse you if you let them. You feel me? So, I'm the type of person, I'm genuine. So, like, if you need me, I'll be there for you. But when I see you always trying to like use me or you always trying to get over me, you don't have no type of balance where it's like, okay, I, I use them sometime. Or like you just use me, use me, use me, use me. And you ain't pouring nothing back into me. Then I learn, I see that you misusing me. And then I, I, I remove myself or I stop doing whatever I was just doing for you. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's what I'm saying. Don't let these people misuse you because they will see you at a certain point use you to try to get to your point and then when they get to your level they'll just throw you out you feel me so it's okay to to you to be used it's okay to be useful but don't let people misuse you you know what i'm saying if they if you're doing for them make sure they can do something for you good vibes good energy genuine loyalty like they they can pay you back some type of way like don't just be out here getting misused and thrown around because they will do that Number five, number five is so important, bro. Like, I really want y'all to listen to me, bro. Number five is so important. Is don't follow the trend, set the trend. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you come to Atlanta, don't follow whatever you see around you. Set the trend, because that's how you blow up here. Like, everybody come here and be they self. Like, you could be your own self. Like, you could be authentic, true to yourself. Like, nobody's here. Is judging you for being you because it's all type of people here. It's people with green hair. It's people that wear their pants backwards. It's people, I don't know, it's just all type of people here. So it's like, come here and be yourself and don't follow the trend. Set the trend because when you set the trend, you'll get your own wave of people following your trend. So just, that's why I tell people just be you, do what you do. And Atlanta, if they rocking with it, they're going to gravitate towards it. And it's always going to be some people here that gravitate towards it and support you. Because it's all type of people here. So, you know what I'm saying? Just be yourself. Do your thing, bro. So, don't follow the trend. Set the trend if you're trying to, like, get your whatever you're doing off the ground. And uh, Number six. This is the city of finesse. Bro, I had to learn that because I be working my ass off, busting my ass as a man, grinding to get where I want to be in life. And I realized that people be beside you finessing their way. You know what I'm saying? So I had to learn that it's a city of finesse. It's a finesse with everything, bro. Finesse with cars, finesse with apartments, finesse with food, finesse with designer, finesse with clothes, finesse with, man, just the city of finesse. And you got to know that. And my personal thing, I don't get caught up in that because I feel like you able to maintain it when you worked hard for it. I feel like if you finessed it, you lose it a lot. Like, you don't really know how to handle it. So it's like, but if you work for it, you know how to maintain it because you know what you, you know the groundwork you had to do to get it. So it's like, I'm more so just like the grind. I like the grind, bro. I like to feel like I worked hard and earned this versus like I finessed it and got it because it's like now I don't even care about it. I'm just spend it or I'm going to just do it. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I, I would say... You could come here and finesse and do your thing. Everybody, you do you do what you do. You know what I'm saying? Like, be yourself, do what you do. If you a finesse, come here and finesse. Like, I mean, but me personally, I like to grind and I like to work hard because that's kind of how my dad molded me growing up. He kind of molded me to be a man, go out there and work for what you want. You know what I'm saying? But I just know that here is finessing going on. So, yeah, that's that. Number seven, don't fall for no women out here until they prove to you that they the one. And even when they prove to you they the one, they gotta prove you five more times. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause it's like, hey, bro, women here move so different than like where I'm from, bro. And I know like they moving wild out there in Mobile too. But I'm telling y'all, the wildest woman in Mobile is 10 times better than the wildest girl in Atlanta. You feel me? Like, so it's like, you gotta just be like, 
cautious with these women. Like, they could prove to you, say all the right things, do all the right things, and you could be like, she the one. But you got to make her do that 10 more times. And then if she could do it 10 more times, you kind of consider, like, okay. Then she got to do it five more times. <laughs> I really feel like you never should let your guard down until, like, y'all go to church together or something. Like, I don't know. Like, until y'all just really build something together, like a business. Like, y'all really locked in. Y'all got really some some ties in it. Like, y'all got a business together. Y'all got kids together. I wouldn't even say kids, bro. Because kids don't even matter. But y'all building an empire together. If y'all building an empire together... Then you might see what she on, but if she ain't proven to you that she the one, bro, don't be letting your guard down, you feel me? Like, you feel me? I'm really, I'm really giving y'all a million dollar worth of game, bro. I ain't telling you what I heard. I'm telling you what I know. You feel me? So, like, yeah. What that was, number seven? Number eight, come to Atlanta with the mindset of getting rich. Like, don't come to Atlanta with the mindset of women, with the mindset of, like, luxury, lifestyle, all that. Bro, all that's going to come once you get rich. You know what I'm saying? Come here with the mindset of getting the money, getting the bag, bro. The women, the the luxury life, all that's going to be here. Like, this is a place that you could really come and get your brand off the ground, get your image off the ground, get yourself off the ground, and put your family and your kids, and your kids' kids in a better situation. If you come here with the mindset of getting rich, you feel me? But still be genuine, bro. Don't just be like no money, no money, uh, like it's like some money, uh, demons out here. Like they just all about the money. They'll mess up anybody for the money. They'll go against anybody for the money. They just want the money, money, money. Blah, blah, blah. Don't be that person. You feel me? Just be serious about your bag. You feel me? And, and do it righteous. You know what I'm saying? Do it the right way and do it smooth. I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes you might gotta finesse a little bit to get what you want, but it's like, don't, don't finesse somebody else i don't like to finesse people that's just me bro like come where i'm from it's like that shit deep like you can't get over on people like that where i'm from it's like consequences to that you know what i'm saying so it's like i still live by that so it's like you can finesse a little bit the wiggle some little you know and to get what you want but it's like bro like what's the but yeah just come here with the mindset to get rich but you know what I'm saying? Don't come here with the mindset of messing everybody over to get to the money. Money is not that important, bro. Money, bro, all you need is a, a roof over your head, a car to drive, food in your belly, and genuine people around you in real love. Like, that's all you need in life. Like, as long as you can maintain a car, a house, food, and have genuine people around you that can also do the same, bro, you good. Like, you don't need all this money unless that's just what you want. So don't go mess up people for money because money is the root of all evil. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, but still come here with the mindset to get rich. Number nine, protect yourself at all times, bro. Like, that's another thing. It's a, all type of people out here, bro. Like, man, it's man, it's all type of people, bro. So protect yourself at all times. Don't go for anything. I just told y'all earlier, this is a city of finesse. This is the city of, like, all that. So, protect yourself. Don't be out here getting finesse, bro. Like, protect yourself, bro. Protect yourself from, like, all these people until they show you and prove to you that they are genuine people. Like, protect yourself and protect yourself from danger, bro. Like, it's people breaking in cars. It's people breaking in, like, all type of stuff here. Protect yourself, bro. Go get you a gun. Like, go get you, like, security, security cameras, like, all that, bro. You need all that, bro. Security cameras, doorbell cameras, guns. You need, like, all that. Protect yourself. Because, like, it's not even to be a gangster. You don't carry a gun to be a gangster. You carry a gun for protection. You know what I'm saying? You're not carrying it to be a bad boy. You're carrying it to make it back home to your family. You know what I'm saying? You keep a, a guns in the house to protect your house. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, protect yourself and learn how to fight. Do all that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Cause it's just like you never know here, man. Like everybody's money hungry, everybody trying to get some. So it's just like protect yourself, bro. Like for real. Number ten, we ain't tripping by no nigga. Let him go. We ain't tripping by no bitch. Let him go. Ain't no arguing. You know what I'm saying? Like if a nigga moving funny, we ain't tripping. Let him go. If a female moving funny, we ain't tripping. Let her go. It's so many people in Atlanta, bro. One female lead, five more gonna come. I ain't cap it to you, man. Like. Don't be tripping out none of that, man. What what Ziggy said, man, we ain't tripping by no nigga, let him go. If we say I ain't scratching by shit unless it 
I ain't stressing about shit unless she pregnant or a drought. You feel me? That's the only thing you stressing about, man. Let them folk go. You know what I'm saying? Like, if a nigga acting funny, you feel like a nigga moving weird, get from around that nigga. If a female moving funny, you feel like a female acting weird, get her from around you, bro. We ain't tripping on none of that. You feel me? But, yeah. That's my 10 things you should know when moving to Atlanta, man. So, make sure y'all like the video right now. Subscribe to the channel. And y'all drop some more topics y'all want me to talk about, man. Put them in the comment section. You feel me? And I'm going to talk about it. You feel me? My daddy told me, like, he liked the way I speak. So, he told me on my video I need to be talking to y'all more. So, I'm going to start doing little car videos. He be saying I'm going to be motivating people. Like, you know what I'm saying? My my, my pop then told me my uh my purpose. You know what I'm saying? To motivate people to, to talk, you know what I'm saying? Talk more on camera and show y'all my real personality, man. So, y'all drop topics in the drop topics in the comment section that y'all want me to talk about i'm gonna make videos about them and i'm gonna still bring all the funny content and all that man but yeah man it's your boy rio tv i love y'all i'm out